So on Unity right now, we have an error that is on Linux. It's only in the Unity 2022 LTS releases. I'm currently using Unity 2022.3.2. It was also present on other versions of Unity. I cannot produce the bug right now in front of you, but if you have seen it, it, it kind of looks like Clang++ command not found. It is basically due to the NDK. So if you're currently using any Linux distribution and you're using Unity 2022, the LTS versions, you're going to get this error if you try to build on Android. In order to produce this bug, you will need to install the Android build modules from the Unity Hub, and then you will need to try to build an Android build. So you'll get the error in the console. I cannot reproduce it for you right now because the last time I reproduced it, uh, I had to work for a very long time to solve that bug because I forgot a few steps. So the first thing that we'll do is we're going to go to the official Android NDK website, which is this, and we're going to download the Android NDK 23 into our playback engines folder. So right now, right now, uh, this wasn't working. This wasn't working. Let's see if it works right now. Okay, so it's still not working. Uh, right now, I cannot download. Oh, it worked now. Okay, so it wasn't working before when I was when I was making another video. You're going to download this into your Unity folder, which will most likely be in your home folder, into Hub, Editor. The version of Unity that you're using, I'm using 2022.3.2. I'm going to go to Editor, going to go to Data, and then I'm going to go to Playback Engines and I'm going to go to Android Player. Over here, I'm going to download this, but you can see it's already downloaded over here. So I don't need to download this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the, the place where I had it downloaded, which was Unity Hub, Editor, the version of Unity that I'm using, Editor, Data, and I'm going to go to Playback Engines, Android Player, and over here you can see that this is the Android NDK that I downloaded from GitHub. I'll be able to extract this, now I do not know how you will extract it on your machine, but this is how I do it. Once I have extracted it, I name this Android NDK Custom. Now it's going to say after you extract it, Android NDK R23C, with the dashes, of course. So once you're inside of this folder, you're going to go to source.properties and you're going to change the pkg.revision exactly to this version, 23.1.777.9620. Okay, so once you have that, you're going to basically uh, go to edit, you're going to go to preferences, then you're going to go to external tools and you're going to you're going to basically uh, browse to that Android NDK that you just downloaded. So again, I'm going to go from the home folder, Unity, Hub, Editor, the Unity version, Editor, Data, uh, Playback Engines, Android Player, and the custom uh, and Android NDK that you just downloaded. So the reason why we edited the source or properties is because uh, Unity will not recognize this if you don't don't basically install if you don't change the source or properties. You have to do it. So after that, close Unity and restart Unity and restart the Unity Hub. So restart the Unity Hub. Before I was making another video in where I produced this error. The problem was that you have to restart the Unity Hub in order for this to work. If you don't, then this, will, this solution is not going to work. So after restarting Unity Hub, you can then start building your project and hopefully it will build. So I'm going to show this in front of you since I've built it already. It's going to take like 10 seconds to build because of the incremental build system. So let's see if this works. In any case, if after applying this solution, it does not work. Try reinstalling, uh, reinstalling, no, sorry, reopening Unity Hub. 
okay just close unity and restart the unity hub so for me it worked okay there are other errors too like uh in inside inside of this unity lts release if i say open containing folder it's not really going to do anything so this is an issue that we have on on unity right now and uh for some reason you for some reason unity technologies really doesn't seem to care much about linux so we're going to have this problem but if you do not want to use windows 10 that and if you want to continue on Linux with the latest LTS version, this is your fix for Android builds. I'm going to use Windows 10 for now to until some of these issues are resolved because there are other issues too, like open containing folder. This doesn't work, which is, of course, which is not right as uh, I, I need this feature. I need this to work. There might be other issues too that I haven't found yet, but this was a critical one. If you found this solution useful, consider checking out my website. I, I offer game development solutions, or you can also buy my course where I will teach you how to become a freelancer and offer your Unity game development services on, on websites such as Fiverr, Upwork, uh, Guru, and Kwork. If you want to support me, you can buy my course, or you can simply order a game from me, or you can hire me to develop a game for you. Thank you very much.